Imagine you are a homeowner and during the COVID-19, you were forced to be isolated, making you feel more homesick than ever. Last year, when most countries lifted the restriction and made it easier for people to travel, you might feel excited to go back to your home country and visit families and friends for a longer period of time. But it wasn't until he returned to Toronto that he discovered his house had been sold without his knowledge. Wouldn't that be shocking and frustrating? Headline news started early this year in 2023 and then it started more and more recently. How often does this happen in Toronto? If you are curious, let's look at this together right after this. Hi, welcome back to the AV Team Real Estate channel. I'm Antonio, a local real estate agent in the GTA. So far, I've been posting all real estate related content in the GTA every week. If you find it interesting and helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Use the first link in the description below to book a call with me if you'd like to arrange a time to talk with me about the current real estate market. Let's dive into the first article. The owners of a Toronto home who were out of town of a business trip discovered that someone had impersonated them and sold their property without their consent. Investigators said in January 2022, two people allegedly pretended to be the homeowners and hired a real estate agent. Police told Global News the property was located in Etobicoke. The home was then listed for sale and so the new homeowners who took possession. Police said the original homeowners were out of the country for business. Several months after the property was sold, investigators said the original homeowner discovered that their home was sold without their consent. Police have released a photo of a man and a woman wanted on fraud charges after allegedly using fake identification to impersonate the real homeowners. How is it possible for this to happen? However, this might happen more frequently than one might imagine. A lawyer or other someone with access to the land registry system may have illegally changed the title from the current homeowners to someone else at some point in the past. TerraNet manages and owns that land register system on behalf of the Ontario government. Real estate lawyers and others who are authorized to transfer titles and sell houses have access to it through specific key codes. Through unique key codes, it, it is accessible to real estate lawyers and other people with the authority to sell homes and transfer titles. And it doesn't take long to do it. Obviously, there is a loophole for people to illegally transfer the title of the property. Just a week later, on January 12th, another CBC article stated it's happened again. Second Toronto property was listed for sale without the homeowner's knowledge. Does it sound familiar? This time it happened to a great uncle of Melissa Walsh, 95 years old, who moved to a long-term care home in late 2021 from his home that he had owned since 1970s. The family decided to rent out the home so that it can cover the expenses. The nightmare started when the family turned to a local Royal LePage brokerage where two real estate agents helped them find and screen tenants to rent a house located just off Queen Street East near Q gardens in the beach neighborhood starting in December 2021. The family later learned the tenant chosen had used fake identity documents and bogus references on their lease application and Walsh said police eventually referred them as ghosts after trying to locate them. That's more just few weeks after the lease agreement was signed. The family found out that someone posing as the 95 years old homeowner had hired two different real estate agents from another Royal LePage brokerage to list a house for sale without the family's knowledge or permission. The home was staged with furniture advertised online for 1.29 million and quickly generated a flurry of offers while set. One came in at 1.9 million. This is quite bizarre and shocking story. Before the house could be sold illegally, Walsh family was able to put an end to the attempted scam. However, the Toronto Police Service, TPS, has recently received more reports of identity fraud. If you are not convinced yet, more cases has been mounting and being reported for the last few weeks. Insurance investigator Brian King, president and CEO of the King International Advisory Group, said his firm had received 30 such claims in Ontario. To be precise, there were 32 properties properties targeted in Ontario and British Columbia by mortgage and title fraudsters. King's investigator included the case of Toronto condo owner Muffy Yu, who discovered that her two-bedroom downtown property had been listed and sold last year for $970,000 by someone using her name. The property title now lists someone else 
as the owner, although a caution notice has been placed on the document by the director of land titles, indicating that it is disputed. Toronto police confirmed they are investigating. King said total title fraud was once very, very rare, but now it seems like every other file that's coming in is a total title transfer. The BC Land Title and Survey Authority said in a March 2021 notice that it was aware of two cases involving property managers being tricked into taking instruction from fraudsters impersonating owners who live abroad. It said one of the frauds was successful. Both properties were listed for sale by realtors who accepted a scanned copy of a forged password to verify the identity of the supposed owner. King said title and mortgage fraud typically involve homes with low or no mortgages. After identifying such a home, the fraudsters researched the homeowners to create a fake identification in their name. He said actors are then paid 5000 to 10000 to put the property on the market and seek a fairly quick sale on suspecting buyer. They are not necessarily going for the most amount of money because they want to deal with this quickly. The quicker they get in and out, the better, said King. He said a recent case is firm investigated involve a home value at $2.2 million in Ontario. The two owners contracted a property management company to rent out their home after moving to England for work, but it was rented by fraudsters who moved in, impersonated the owners, and sold it for $1.7 million within two weeks. In another type of property fraud, impersonators posed as homeowners to obtain mortgage from private lenders. Compared to total title fraud, King said mortgage fraud was much easier and quicker, but the potential payoff for total title fraud was much greater. When they sell to an unsuspecting buyer, they get not only the mortgage amount, but they get the equity amount as well. He said total fraud resulted in a legal mess that could take a year and a half for the court to sort out. More and more identity theft is happening. Unless you are trained, you would never able to tell that it has been falsified. When scammers targeted homeowners with house title insurance, they might turn the situation over to their insurance company, which would then step in and take over. However, in certain instances, the homeowners would balk at the lengthy court proceedings and walk away from the property, taking a payout instead. In most of these cases, the real owner and the buyer are protected from most of the losses incurred through the fraud by having title insurance. The insurance protects homeowner from fraudulent claims on their property and pay for legal expenses to re-establish the homeowner's title rights. If a buyer unwittingly buys a home that's been fraudulently listed, the insurance should also protect them. In cases like that, the true owner will likely get their home back and the unwitting buyer will get their money back. But with title transfer and mortgage fraud claims skyrocketing, title insurer John Ryder worries about the sustainability of providing this coverage in the long term. This type of insurance claim went from zero to now many dozens. This is definitely a growing number of mortgage and title transfer fraud in recent years. Title insurance companies are seeking the government to step up and lead the way to bolstering ID verification standards for professionals so they don't just rely on IDs in this kind of transactions. Especially after COVID, people are leaning toward more and more paperless and remote access for signing off digitally to sell the house. In this case, if the sellers are required to show up physically at the title registry office, this might prevent more identity theft in the future. I hope you find this video helpful and informative. Don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss future content such as this. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.